Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel. To all your crew members out there, if you're new here, welcome aboard to Spend Too Much Diecast. Alrighty, so today we have an awesome unboxing for you guys. I found the new set um, of the Fast and Furious Legacy Series put out by Jada. These are 132nd cars. So, so far, we have done two different series. And I have the pictures here. So I'm not sure if they're gonna be releasing another series, but basically we have seen these before. So not sure how they were released, but the first two that were sent out to us was this one, which was the Camaro, which was a new casting, the wide body charger, which was kind of a new casting. The only other way you were able to get this one was in a two pack. Um, brand new casting was the Wrangler, and then of course a um, repeat of the Dodge Charger RT. And then we saw this series, brand new casting of the R the 911. First time seeing this is a 132nd. That is a duplicate casting, that is a duplicate casting. And then this one right here was actually a brand new casting for Jada, which was the heist Honda Civic. So now we have the next two versions. And you can see on the back here, we have the flip car and Deckard's uh, fast attack buggy. This one was only released one time way back in the day. So if you missed out on that one, it's actually kind of cool that they're putting it back in here. And then a brand new casting is the Sylvia and then a um, duplicate casting is the Supra, but it was updated and I'll show you guys that there. So those are those two over there. So here we are, this is the 132nd scale put out by Jada, and it is the um, Legacy Series. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get these opened up, and then we will take a closer look at them. Alrighty guys, and we are back. All right, this is gonna be a super cool unboxing. So before we get started, I just again want to say thank you to all the crew members out there who like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I appreciate all the crew members out there who have subscribed and joined the crew. Uh, we hit our goal of 5,000 crew members about a month ago. So I want to say thank you to everybody. But if you're not part of the crew, if you have not subscribed, definitely go ahead, hit that subscribe button, join the Spend Too Much Diecast crew, hit that bell notification, give this video a thumbs up, all that good stuff, join the crew. We do a whole bunch of sweet unboxings on here between Jada, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, full collections, all that good stuff. So definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue the Fast and the Furious Leg Legacy series. Like I said, we did open four other ones. So definitely go back, check those out. A lot of good die cast on there. We have two brand new castings for Jada. So that is awesome. So we'll go ahead and start it off with this series here. And um, this is actually what comes in the box where they're stacked on. I do cut it out a little bit just because um, it could be a cool display to put your Fast and the Furious car on for pictures or stuff like that. But that is pretty cool. Alrighty, so the new casting is the flip car. The old casting is the um, Deckard's Fast Attack Buggy. Like I said, this one has been released before, a long time ago. Um, this one was released probably like the first or second series um, for boxes. So very old box, um, still when they had the cardboard in the back for the hanging tags instead of the plastic. So if you weren't able to get that back then, it is cool that we are seeing it now. So let's see, the new model is saying 97387 scale 132nd fast attack buggy. And the old one is actually exactly the same item number. 
So that is pretty cool that they did not change the item number. So we'll go ahead, take a look at the new one, and then we'll just compare it to the old one, see if there's any differences or not. But this one is still pretty cool. It is a solid die cast. The front up here, the um, push bar is plastic. Uh, same with that little insert back there. Of course, you got the big off-road wheels. You got the accent paint around the windows. And this one does not open. There's no opening parts on this at all. Doors don't open or nothing. It's like a nice matte gray. Going to the back, nothing back there. This is all plastic, part of the base. You do get an extra tire on here, which is actually rubber, just like one of these. So that is pretty cool. And there you go. So still an awesome casting, especially if you're a fan of the off-road ones. All right, so let's go. This is the new one. This is the old one. Um, just comparing them, they look identical. The paint on them is pretty, pretty good. I will say that the older one does look a lot more matte. You can kind of see there is more of a glossy shine on the newer one. And you can kind of see it in the back, see how that's a little more glossier. So the old one is a lot more of a matte finish. And it seems like the newer one they did put um, a little bit different kind of paint on it. It is a little bit more glossy, but still looks pretty good as matte. So not too bad. So there you go. There is Deckard Shaw's Fast Attack. And then brand new casting, we have the Flip Car. Oh, this one looks really cool. So let's see the item number on this. Three, four, 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 five, scale one thirty second Flip Car plastic base um all this here is die cast um this little part here does move don't know if that was supposed to or if that's just how they designed it but there you go there's a little steering wheel in there one seat oh and then two seats on each side i didn't know that so you got the one seat in the middle and the two on each side this top part is plastic um it does not come off of course, no moving parts on this. You got the chrome motor. The back, the spoiler is plastic. This part back here is plastic. A Little bit of red on the bottom there. But there you go. New casting, the flip car. So if you guys are a Fast and Furious fan, you need to update your collection, here you go. Looks like there's a little bottle there too. Pretty cool. <laughs> so there is the flip car. All right, so that was the first box. Now we're into the second box. It comes with Brian's Toyota Supra and then the 2001 Nissan Silvia S15 brand new casting for Jada. So hopefully we see it. I would love to see that in a 124th scale. That would be awesome. All right. So here we are with the um, Toyota Supra. We have seen this casting before. They have released it since day one. They continue to do it. We've seen it in a two pack, a three pack. We've seen it um, a whole bunch of different times. So there is one difference and I'll show you that um, after we take a look at this. Well, oh, that's small. Item number 973. Four five scale one thirty second two thousand or nineteen ninety eight no ninety three so it's nineteen ninety three ninety five hold on what does that say ninety five nineteen ninety five Toyota Supra again everything up here is plastic plastic headlights does have the 12 down there, Toyota Supra logo. Um, that is actually painted into the hood. Nice orange color, chrome wheels. Of course, the iconic side graphic. Well, again, no paint in the door jams. That is typical on these 132nds. 
There's your interior, nothing special. It's all just black, no chrome accents, no nothing. And trunk does not open on this, neither does the hood. There's the back, the Fast and the Furious with the Supra logo, Toyota logo, paint for the taillights. Of course, the spoiler, the wing is plastic. There is your passenger side. And there is the inside there. All right. So here is the very first release. And everything um, is the same casting wise, um, paint wise, it's pretty close. Of course, it is kind of hard to sometimes match the orange, but the only difference on these cars. So if you guys are looking for variants, here you go. Do you guys spot it? Okay, basically the newer version, they took away Gretti. So those were the aftermarket logos on the bottom. The new casting, they got rid of Gretti and they went with the other four. And that is also for the 124th. So if you have the original 124th, you have it with the Gretti delivery. Anything newer casting, it is gone. And it's just the four manufacturing. So that is a good way to tell you the original versus the new version. So they must have lost the licensing and they had to remove it from the new Toyota Supra. So there you go guys. If you guys didn't know that, here you are. It's pretty cool. And the item number did stay the same, which is weird because they had to actually switch the paint job on it. But as for the item number, it is the same. So there you guys go. If you guys are looking for variants, there is the only one that I'm aware of that they had to change on the Fast and the Furious line. Um, all the ones that they made earlier that they made today are um, about the same. So there you guys go if you need one of those for your collection. Like I said, it is the 124th. They do it and I'm not sure about the 118th. I believe the 118th as well got the Gretti removed on it. Because didn't we see the 118th? They released the 118th with the lights on the bottom. And that one does have the Gretti removed as, as well. So there is your um, variants. All right. I'm sure this is what everybody has been waiting for. Mona Lisa the brand new casting for Jada. We have three, four, 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 six, scale 132nd, 2001 Nissan Silvia S15. What was this, part of Tokyo Drift with Han? Uh, Jada, please make this as a 124th. Please give this to us as a bigger scale. This would be awesome. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Front insert here is all plastic. Do have clear plastic for the um, headlights. Of course, the iconic Mona Lisa paint job. You have some manufacturing logos on the front hood. Nice black, what is it, two, four, six, seven spoke. There is your side graphics. Again, more manufacturing logo. Of course, here's your passenger side since it is right-hand drive. And I am not sure if they're gonna sell this as a single pack or a pullback or anything like that. Only way I know of getting this right now is part of this two-pack legacy series. There you go in the back. Nissan logo, Sylvia, Fast and Furious. Red for the taillights, plastic spoiler, plastic base. Then here is your driver's side. Again, nothing special, just all black. So there you guys go. 
but I think I, I have one. I So these were found at Walmart. They had two sets. I bought two sets. Here we are with the unboxing on one of them. If you go check out creamcitydiecast.com, I will have a set up for sale. If you guys want to snag it, I'll do it as as the two. You can get the you can get both the flip car and the Sylvia as a bundle. So hopefully you guys can add this to your collection. Like I said, it's just hitting stores now. Um, especially this one here, I'm sure is going to be like the Civic, and everybody is going to buy it up. But of course that sales page helps us put more die cast here to unbox for you guys so there it is so what's your comments guys how do you feel about this set not sure if we're going to see another legacy series this might be it for this year um i don't think i've seen any more sneak peeks this was the major one so but I, when i walked into walmart and i saw that sitting on the shelf guys i was like "Ooh, wee so there it is there is the unboxing for you guys hopefully you enjoyed it again thank you to all my crew members out there who are part of this channel i appreciate each and every one of you i look forward to growing the channel with you guys even more but until next time again thanks for watching spend too much diecast and we'll see you on the next unboxing bye